I am Mridhna. Today, I am going to talk about demand crisis in Indian economy. Due to Corona pandemic, global economy is facing an unprecedented slump. Indian economy was dealing with a downturn long before the COVID crisis hit us, and this hit only led to a bigger strain on our economy, reflecting a mere 4.2 percent growth rate in financial year 2019 to 20. Indian economy has been experiencing a slowdown since 2017. The reasons cited by the government for the slowdown have ranged from low industrial growth to falling private consumption to low global growth. All of them are rooted in decreasing domestic demand. What exactly is demand? Aggregate demand is a macroeconomic term that denotes total demand for goods and services in the economy. Demand for goods and services come either from consumers or from investors. According to Keynes, as demand for goods and services fall, Production is adjusted accordingly. To cut costs due to lower production and sales, wages are lowered and people are laid off. Due to this, unemployment starts to raise and people who lost jobs further cut down on their consumption and the economy finds itself in a vicious cycle. This cycle is already in existence in Indian economy long before the pandemic. The remedy for this situation is to stimulate demand. However, the steps taken by the Indian government like slashing corporate taxes, bank recapitalization and mergers, GST rate cut, etc. were mostly supply-oriented. As the demand crisis was left unaddressed, it was aggravated further due to the pandemic. Unemployment rose to 23.5% in April 2020. Lockdown led to a halt in the manufacturing and service sector, which led to a drop in aggregate supply. Some economists believe that the current combination of declining output plus rising inflation will eventually lead India into a stagflation trap. But the monthly estimates from the CMIE show that the national unemployment rate has fallen from a peak of 23.5% in April to 8.35% in August of 2020. This led some economists to believe that India could go through a V-shaped recovery. That is, the dip of demand will peak. But there are some specifics one needs to consider. This recovery in unemployment doesn't exactly translate to people taking up jobs that pay monthly consistently as people are moving back to farms where employment is overcrowded. Government relief packages are not effective as people are more interested in saving their extra income rather than spend. Also, Government policies such as extending credit lending to MSMEs is not very successful because low demand faced by MSMEs did not motivate them to borrow more. The Union Budget 2021 has proposed a lot of investments in infrastructure. In the long run, these proposals, if executed well, will revive consumer demand and employment. We'll have to wait and see the results.